first graders. This is another subtraction strategies and tips video. And this strategy and tip is using a 10 to subtract. Let's get to this video. Let's take a look at 12 minus 7. Now this strategy is you can mentally think about how much do I need to go from 7 to 10? And then how much do I need to go even further from 10 until I arrive at this 12? That would be the answer of 12 minus 7. So let's look at this. We're going to start at 7. And I know I need to count up 3 to 10. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and I'm at 10. Then I need to count two more to arrive at 12. 1, 2. And so it took me five steps to go from this 7 to this 12. Therefore, that 12 minus 7 is 5. So we have a 7 plus 3. That equals to 10. So we needed a 3 to get to 10. And then from 10, we're going to add a 2 to get to 12, which is this final number, 12. And we can clearly see these two numbers in here totals 5. This was the 5 that helped us get from 7 to 12, which is pretty much the difference between 12 and 7. I hope I'm not confusing you. Okay, we'll continue to do another example. 15 minus 8. Well, we can think about this and we're going to start at 8. And we know we need 2 more to get to 10. So it's going to be an 8 plus 2 to get to 10. So keep that 2 in mind. Remember, it took us 2 to get to 10. Then from 10, we need 5 more to get to 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it took us 2 to get to 10. And it took us another 5 to get to 15. That total is 7. So that means 15 minus 8 is 7. Here's a 17 minus 9. Well, we can just think about it and start at 9. And I know I need one more to get to 10. And then I know I need seven more to get to 17. That one and seven is a difference. That one and seven together is eight. So I know eight is the difference between 17 and nine. So that means 17 minus nine is eight. That's the difference between them. That's why. When we do subtraction, the answer is called the difference. Because it's the difference between 9 and 17 in this case. So what about 11 minus 7? I can think about it and say, well, from 7, I need 3 more to get to 10. So I keep that 3 in mind. And then I know 1 more to get to 11. So that 3 and 1 is 4. Okay, so that means... 11 minus 7 is 4. How about 14 minus 8? Well, looking at the 8, I know I need 2 more to get to 10. And then I need another 4 more. So those 2 and 4, there's 6. So I say, oh, okay, okay. 14 minus 8 is 6. So that's a nice little tragedy you could use to do subtraction, especially in your head.
you just think, how much do I need to get to 10? And then how much do I need to go further to get to this other number over here? And then I know that's the answer. I'll do one word problem real quick. There are 15 candy bars on the table. Nine are blue. The rest are white. How many candy bars are white? So there are 15 candy bars on the table. Nine are blue and the rest. That means the remaining are white. How many candy bars are white? What are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many candy bars are white. Or what information are we given to help us solve this? Well, we know nine are blue, and there are 15 total. So that means out of the total, if I subtract the nine blue ones, I would be left with the rest that are white. So basically, I have a 15 minus nine. So 15 minus nine. I can think about this and I say, okay, I can go to 9 to 15. I know I need one more to get to 10. So that's a 1, and I'm at 10. And then I know I need 5 more to get to 15. So that 1 and 5 together is 6. So 15 minus 9 is 6. And so that is using 10 to help you subtract. And that's a nice tragedy and a nice tip. Thank you. Bye.